Hello there, how's it going? What is up world? We're here at the one and only Tip Plus. It is a distribution. They carry BSD, Stranger, Federal, Tall Order, a bunch of other brands. We're here, gonna meet up with Rich Hirsch. It is raining all day yesterday, and it's about to rain today, so we're not gonna really get any riding in. It looks dry right now, but you look over there, there's puddles everywhere. We did the last video we did here, a lot of you guys wanted to see some more parts, so your request has been accepted. We're here, gonna meet up Rich Hirsch, and he's gonna give us a rundown on some more of the 2019 parts, and maybe some old parts, maybe some history. I don't know, but either way, I'm super excited to do this video for you guys, so let's get the day and products showing right now. Let's go. The one and only John Warren. That's it, that's it. Yeah? Lunch break. Lunch break? Yeah, did you buy lunch? Uh, I should have brought you guys God, some lunch. You should have brought some lunch, man. Now I'm gonna starve. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of new stuff here? Yeah, more coming in. A lot more coming in. So John is one of the sales dude over here at Tip Plus. A lot of people wanted to see the new uh, Alex Donnecke BSD frame, but you guys sold out of them right away, right? Yeah, pretty much. They're gone, so it's all good. Hey, Brand new ones. There you yeah. go, 2019. So hopefully, is what product should we check out? Uh, we got a list of them for you. All right, we got we got a list. Yep. So we're gonna go check them out. Look at that. How old is this sign? Damn. When do you use that? That twelve years? Twelve years? Probably. I'd imagine it's been a while since we used that logo. Damn. Love the logo. That's dope. Yes, I love that too. Got an Eric L. Stranger complete. Tip plus. You good? If you want we're the good. intro. No, I don't. I don't have an Who intro. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you for the people that are? I'm Rich. I work at uh, Tip Plus, Primo Stranger, all that stuff. And uh, here's some new products that we're working on. Cool. So. Uh, this is actually coming in here in like two weeks here. This is our Ballast Evo. It's something a little bit different, you know, probably not for everybody, but um, we wanted to really try. We, I wanted to try something different and basically do like a road bike headset on our BMX frames, which is, a, I'm not sure if you're familiar with those, but it's a tapered headset where the bottom's bigger and allows you to have a, a bigger bearing on the bottom and increase the size of the fork at the bottom where kind of forks are their weakest. So yeah, this is what the fork looks like. It's pretty wild. It tapers from, there's your standard head tube size here. There's your oversized bearing there. And then the, and it goes back down to normal. So it kind of does a full taper through the entire leg there. And then this is the, yeah, the matching ballast Evo frame that it goes on. So let's see what it looks like all together. So it's a nice clean taper all the way through. And uh, yeah, these are a little bit different because it's sold as a frame fork and headset. So yeah, it comes all in one box, one kit, kind of old school like that. Just, I don't know, give people something something different to try out. And uh, it definitely rides really stiff. It's 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 pretty cool feeling. So uh, you need that frame to ride the forks, right? It only is sold together as one thing, frame, fork, and headset, yeah. Yeah, so, so normal forks don't work. Nope, normal forks don't work. None of this works with anything but this, so. Yeah, trying something new there. Uh, these come in, I think, 20 and a half, 20 and three quarter, 21, maybe even 21 and a quarter here soon, I think. It seems darker in here today. Is it because the sun's not out? No, it's, when it's cloudy outside, it seems darker in here, it's weird. It's yeah. like bright in here on a rainy day. It's, it's, it's like the opposite, you know? Yeah, it's cold as hell in here. Uh, we're looking for sprockets. Sprockets? Sprockets are uh, over here, I think. All right, we just got these back in stock here. A little plug for the guys over at Federal. This is the, I think it's called the Impact. Yeah, Impact Guard Sprocket. Pretty affordable, straightforward. Nice little nylon guard. Can you see it there in the packaging? Whoever gets this one, I'm really sorry. Or it makes it better. Yeah, you're right. This one's better. Adds value to it for yep. being in a video. Added value. Added clout. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is what they look like actually. Pretty dope, nice and straightforward. Probably lasts forever, you know? Is that plastic around it? Yeah, yeah, nice little plastic guard. And we have the replacement pieces, they're super cheap. So that's the wave now, plastic guards. We're looking for tires all right here. <laughs> There's so many. So next up here, we got these new Federal Command tires. These are pretty dope because they're designed to run low pressure. So I actually think that drops the price down a little bit, but I think they're like 65 PSI. And I don't really even know anybody that runs, what's to say? I don't know anybody that runs over 50 anymore. What do you run? I run 25. 25, there you go. So these can these can hold almost three times that. So yeah, these are 60 PSI. It makes them a little bit lighter, a little bit more, um, you know, pliable, kind of not as stiff and rigid, but uh, yeah, super grippy tire, affordable price. Shout out to Federal Bike. Ooh, the best feeling right here. We when you get a new uh, frame. Yeah, yeah. These ones are, 
uh, an update on the Churchill frame. Just super hot right now. Everybody on this investment cast wishbone wave. That little piece right there. This is kind of the new thing everybody's doing. A little die cast junction here. Makes it for super wide tire clearance. And I guess it makes it probably really stiff right here, but I haven't actually ridden one of these frames. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Shout out to the man, Stevie Churchill. I think they did this first, right? Yeah. I think everybody's about to do it, but I think they did it first. There's a new one right here we're about to just put on the shelf. This is uh, any soldier with Dan Paley. Soldier everything on this BSD stuff. I almost forget his name. But yeah, Dan Paley, new signature seat here. BSD, new Paley seat in stock now. It's kind of like in between a slim and a fat. It's got a pretty cool little shape. What's the top? Well, uh, I don't know what it is. It's nice though. It's not suede. It's almost like tweed or something. Pretty cool though. Next up, I want to say this is a new size. It might not be a new size, but it's a, it's, a, it's a newer product. This is the BSD Safari Bar. And uh, you can see they got a portrait of Reed Stark here on the packaging. Shout out to Reed. And these are 9.6, super light. They must be butted, I guess. I'm not, let's, let's read the back here. Multi-butted, heat treated, 41 chrome alloy handlebar. There you go. And they're 29 and a half wide, because Reed's huge. I think that's wider than pretty much any bar, but they got a nice big box, you don't really feel it. it, just feels like pretty nice and normal actually. Pretty cool. They also do that crazy oversized option in these where you can get the stem that's like one inch and then it tapers up right here. So. Do you need a special stem for the? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. They make matching stems to that. So it's like a one inch stem crossbar setup, you know, I guess it makes them slip less, but yeah, we, haven't, would, we haven't messed with it a lot yet. Yeah, I would never even guess. I would have put a normal stem on. You can't do that. Okay. I like the silver one in the stem. I feel like the silver really pops. And this one's already got one staple removed. So this is the new Primo Richter stem here, designed by this guy. It's uh, we got the cl the clamps in here, grabs the bar a little bit better. It actually, it's interesting what this does. It basically presses into the chrome alloy in the bar just a little bit. It doesn't deform it or anything, but just enough to where it, like it stops the bar from slipping a pretty large amount. Uh, I want to say this one's a 50 millimeter, pretty short, pretty minimal rise and uh, it's got the extra clamping and it's cold forged so it's affordable so yeah all in all good stem nice for people that don't want the super jacked up bars and it comes in comes in a bunch of colors rose gold this bad boy turquoise yeah black somewhere in here so next up here we got a little bit more park oriented products we don't do just street here we do for primo and stranger but we got tall order and total to cover all you park lovers out there. So this is, I want to say their tech fire wheel, crazy light, uh, oil slicked spokes, you know, all reset in here, recessed in here and everything, all female. Pretty much the ultimate park wheel, right? I would say. See? If you're trying to get I've your quad, before. quadruple whip on. Damn. She light. And of course it clicks crazy loud, you know. It's got all the mandatory park needs right there. Loud click, female axle, super light, colored spokes, you got it all. So, <laughs> shout out to Total, this, this is definitely the ultimate tail whipping wheel. All right, so this one is our Crux XL rear. Free coaster wheel here. Yeah, 43 millimeter wide, Crux XL rim, Crux V2 free coaster hub, all 17 millimeter female. 14 millimeter axles, but 17 inside. Primo dual guards, rim strip, you know, <laughs> we out here. Yeah, it's uh, way wider. Yeah, yeah, super wide. Uh, I think it's about eight millimeters wider than our other rims. And uh, it's not too heavy either, feel it. You need a special tire to go with it or anything? No, no, I run these on my bike. I love them, cassette version, but yeah, they feel good. They make your tires bigger. It, it reduces like, it, it basically spreads out the air more so you don't get pinch flats and stuff as much. So you, know, you can you can imagine like you have a big tire and you have a little skinny rim, it kind of pizza cutters through it, hits the ground, you know? So a little wider allows it all to kind of disperse the energy. What are these, Rich? What are these used for? What do you got? What Some are these? Claws? What are they? What are they used for? Super two. I don't even know what these are, man. Yeah. What are these? You for? put those on bikes? I have no idea what those are. I don't for. know. I don't know what these are. I don't know if that's a bike product. Best in the game. Yeah, we just got these back in stock. Tall loader tool, greatest bike tool ever. Got your eight right here, six right here, 17 millimeter socket. You don't really need much else. I think you can put it in your pocket. I think that's the, the idea here. 
I don't really keep mine in my pocket, but you know, if you wear black jeans, it might be the move. I'll give you like three, let's find just three archives out here and see what we can stumble across. Cause first here, dude, I just found oh, some toxic dust on there. Just found a stack, Primo. Nice try DVDs. Who wants a DVD? Let me know. Let me drop me a, you know, a DM. Get at me with a message if you want one of these DVDs. Josh Stricker back then, dude. Yeah. Tony Nyer, Nate Morshamp, boy. Probably E-Man. All kinds of people. It's a really good video. All kinds of people. There's another random find for you, dude. Cardinal sticker pack. Whoa. Yep. A lot of people won't know what that is. No, but the ones who know, no, dude. Cardinal was dope. We got all kinds of random old shit. If you just like really look around, it's just kind of like sprinkled through the new stuff sometimes. We're going off track. We're going all the way behind yeah, the Yeah, this building. is the archives back here, man. I'm not sure if I can get into this box, but I spotted this the other day and it has old low-tech Cardinal and maybe Fremont t-shirts in it, so. Damn. Yeah, it was somewhere over here, dude. We'll get in there. New size small, remember this one? Yep. That was one of my favorite low-tech shirts here. I think I just put the sticker on a photocopier and then and then ran it with like some old tax paper or something under it. But yeah, we got the archives. That I don't even know what to do with all this. We might need to put these up on the side or something because we got low tech power trip, man. One of my favorite stuff. This is back when we were printing on American Apparel summer tees too. Oh, dude. that's my first shirt. The summer tees go hard. Archive right here, dude. This is low tech? Yep, it's an old low tech tee, dude. Just trippy ass acid face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I don't even remember where this doodle came from. You drew it? I don't even, I might have, or I might have had it <laughs> drawn from some, I literally do not even remember where this came from, dude. We, it might have come from one of the artists we were working with. We're out of here, man. That's everything for today. Uh, I think we get new frames in a couple weeks if you want to come back. And uh, everybody come to the video premiere, January 25th, Primo video. What's the, uh, just follow Primo or Stranger? Or? Yep, check the Primo Instagram. We got the address up there, all that stuff. All right, just like that, we were in there for a good hour, hour and a half. I wanna give a big shout out to Rich for doing this, showing you guys all the products, all that stuff. Make sure to go follow all the brands, Stranger, Primo, BSD, Federal, all them, they got amazing stuff as well. Go buy some stuff, support BMX. Thank you again, Rich Hirsch. As you guys can see, it just started raining. So unfortunately, there's not gonna be any more riding today. Probably hit an indoor skate park tonight, and but that'll be tomorrow's video or something like that. Just stay tuned. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Get notified on all the videos. Follow me on Instagram as well. Make sure to leave in the comments right there on what you want to see next. I'm always open to stuff like that because this is the second video and you guys wanted to see it. So I had to come by and do it for you guys like I said in the beginning. But yes, that's going to be it. This weather is killing us, but it ain't going to stop us. Make sure to go ride your bikes. Support BMX. Do the damn thing. You already know. We love you. Peace.